Kelly and Christine, I uh, apparently the butterfly whisper because this is the second butterfly which has landed on my face, and I have documented video proof now to show you. I'm going to try to do something I've never done. I've had a lot happen in the past 25 years in this business, but I've never actually done an interview with a butterfly on my face and a butterfly on my finger. But I'm going to try and do that right now. Tom Clevenger, he is the butterfly guy. Um, Tom, what is hanging out right now on my index finger, on the stick that you have, and on my face? Well, these are monarch butterflies, and these are actually probably the most common butterfly in the island right now. And uh, the, the species is actually one of the most common uh, in the United States. Well, the great news is we're not alone. We have a handful of young toddlers that are in here. Uh, May, Violet, uh, Kyla, as well as Devin that are in here. Oh, there it went. It just, just lifted off the uh, face. When is the exhibit open? It starts in just a few days, correct? Yes, uh, we open this Saturday, and we'll uh, run through April 8th. And you can come see us during mall hours, which would be 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday, and 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sundays. How many different butterflies you'll be... I should actually say, the great thing about this exhibit is, besides the beautiful butterflies, it also acknowledges sort of the life cycle of the butterfly, correct? Yeah. Actually, the exhibit has quite a bit going on. So, and what makes ex this exhibit very special is that when you come in, if you notice how the house is built, it's a little bit lower. So the experience is about getting up close to the butterfly. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, everybody's got uh, their little feeding sticks. Okay. So not only are we helping feed the butterflies, but it gives you a very safe way to see up close and you can see their proboscis come out and eat, and you're not going to hurt the butterfly at all. Besides that, we have some beautiful uh, activities for the kids outside. We have puzzles, we have craft activities, we have interactive technology that they can work with. We have plenty of staff here that will come through. It's a great, great experience. Tell me about the uh, maturation, if you will, of butterflies on the island, because there are now actually folks who do this commercially, correct? Yeah, actually, when we first started the program uh, six years ago, there were not any commercial growers, and we've been working quite a bit. And uh, so now there are 16 people here on the island that are helping grow butterflies, and you can get them for graduations and different types of ceremonies. And all the butterflies you see here are local. Um, you cannot bring butterflies onto the island, so we work very hard to make sure that we have everything here. And it's a very unique technique to make it work on the island. I was going to say, the great thing is we see all the young kitties in here. This is a really wonderful family experience that you could get a chance because they're so delicate, such beautiful creatures. Absolutely, and that's exactly what we're here for. We're here to help uh, raise awareness about the butterflies and to learn about them. As a matter of fact, on March 24th, we have William Haynes, uh, and he's with the Department of Land and Natural Resources, and he's bringing the Kamehameha butterfly out, and that, that is the state butterfly. And the reason we don't have the Kamehameha in here all the time is they tend to live up in a higher altitude where it's a little cooler. But on March 24th, you can come down and you can see a real Kamehameha, and you can learn all about them too. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And then, ladies, I'll throw it back into you in the Take Two studio, but check this out. What was once just one is now two, so apparently um, I am taste like butterfly food. I'm not sure, but uh, how's that? Back to you guys in the Take Two studio. So, Jai, is that what is on the stick that attracts them? Is butterfly food? Yeah, well, let me ask real quick. What is on the stick? Or what attracts them? What, what is it that they're eating or, or to, uh, feeding? Well, it's a very secret formula that we can't really tell. Uh, actually, what this is is this is Gatorade uh, that has a l or, and sugar water that's added, oh, really? and that's really kind of what the nectar is. So, uh, if you see them at home, and you can certainly do that with Q-tips, that type of thing, if you wanted to observe a little bit closer. Oh, no kidding. All right. So. Uh, Apparently, the monarch butterfly is very similar, and I take very similar to them because I enjoy my Gatorade, too. I will definitely uh, feast on Gatorade on a stick. Ladies? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jai. Oh.